Hey everyone, welcome to my first train with me video. So I've done a lot of videos where I upload later about what we trained about and then I edit and do all these things, but I'm just gonna start doing raw live train with me videos. So many of you just wanna be great trainers, train your own dog, you wanna start it as a side business, and I'm here to support you with what I know. And also I just really love dogs and I really love training. And honestly, I could cry because it's been 38 days since I got out and did a session like this. And I know that because I literally count because I miss it so much. So we traveled, uh, we actually had an unexpected move out of state. And you know, I have a one-year-old and a five-year-old and the one-year-old turns two in a couple of weeks. So we had their birthday party, we had the out of state move and everything that's involved in that. And of course we have, um, I think 13 dogs here at the moment right now. I also run a sanctuary, which um, I, you know, I post videos about that every now and then. Um, you're welcome to donate and help support. But some of the dogs that I train on here will be up for adoption. Um, so you'll get to see them and get to know their personality through the training videos. Now don't judge them on training videos because a lot of times it's their first, first day of training. Um, like Miss Liberty today is not up for adoption. She is our dog, but um, she is gonna go through her first lesson today. We've had her for two or three weeks now. Asher really wanted her because our female Basset, um, Beagle, our female Beagle passed away of cancer as a lot of you know if you follow my channel. Um, so I'm just gonna jump in and get started and show you guys, I'll show you guys some of the products that I use. But first, I'm gonna let you know I'm a balanced trainer. There are reasons that I believe in that. I don't want any nasty comments, so I probably will just turn the comments off just because we only need positivity in the day. If you have something great and happy to say, you're welcome to email me or any questions. You can email me, brandy at experttraining.org. I do stay in trains where this is what I do with your dog. And I just wanna be open with the public and honest in my methods and honest in what I do and show you what it really looks like. And I'm gonna tell you that's a scary thing for trainers because sometimes dogs especially beagles she's a beagle basset um i can't tell you the rest of the breeds because i have a thing going on right now that's um guess this breed so i can't tell you today but maybe i'll tell you soon she's all the breeds that talk so one of those is also husky so i'm gonna tell you right now she's not going to respond super well to the introduction to the e-collar I don't use shock collars, this is a stimulation only, and I do very low. Now the other thing that I like to do with my dogs is wait a few weeks to get to know them. Um, so sometimes I'll do extra boarding with a client dog, or I can you know, get to know the dog a little, but really I just do that with rescue dogs who've been like thrown into different situations or have medical things or something like that. I'll never train them right away. Um, what we do work on is potty training, crate training, you know, things like that, behavior jumping, um, small minor behavior issues like that and then we'll go into actual training later on so um, but with your dogs if you come and do a stay and train I just jump right in because the first few days I can do relationship building while teaching commands and that's the cool thing about being a balanced trainer is I can do positive only until I decide that okay you're you're crossing my boundary that's not okay um, it's time to work on that obedience, whatever. I just feel the dog out. So there's not a method that I use per each dog, right? So she likes to be held. She actually likes to jump up in your arms and be held. So that's kind of a, a bad habit, but interestingly enough, she doesn't do it on the kids. Okay, train with me. This is her introduction to the e-collar, her first lesson ever in training. We're gonna do come sit first. I always like to end the caller introduction with a happy note. So we always, well, every training session with a happy note, but we always end come sit with teaching place just because it rebuilds their confidence by the end and they have a lot of fun on the end. Okay. She's not paying attention to me. So this is a great time to teach calm. In the beginning, I'm going to use a few treats and I didn't feed them this morning so that the ones that are training so that they would want to work. Liberty, come. So she didn't come. I'm going to just gently lead her. Come, good girl. Come, good girl. Sit. Off. Sit. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Break. Good girl. Oh, she's going to love this. <laughs> Look how excited she is to work. Okay. Oh, are you excited? Are you excited to work? Oh, my goodness. Off. Yes. Oh my 
goodness. So she's excited. This is a really good time to work on jumping. So I'm just going to hold the leash down here. I'm not going to hurt her. But it's just basically showing her. She's being dramatic. I'm not even on the leash. It's loose. Um, this is just showing her. It's not. It's okay to be excited, but it's not okay to jump on me when you're excited. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, so now her attention is on me. She is part German Shepherd so and Great Pyrenees, so her focus is, is a lot um, people-pleasing. But she does have the Beagle and Bloodhound. They love to people please too. They're super loyal, but they also just want food and to follow their nose. So that's why you don't see a lot of them be service dogs because their prey drive and their food drive is what they're bred for. For hunting. Come. Okay. Good girl. Come, good girl. Come. Come, good girl. Sit. Yes. Come sit. Good girl. What's going on? Great. Good girl. Okay, so I'm teaching a lot of stuff to her right now. Come on. Yes, come good girl. The leash is getting tangled in her because she's like, she's low to the ground. Okay, sit. Awesome. Sit. Good girl. Ah, sit. Awesome. Sit. So she's struggling a little bit because she was super duper duper insecure and scared of everything when we got her. So just letting you know that's just a couple of weeks ago. So she's going to cower. I'm not touching a collar or anything. She's just learning boundaries for the first time. Right, come. Come to girl. Sit. Sit. She knows sit. Sit. So my body language there, I was able to deter her from jumping on me. And I'm just trying to be aware every time she comes, she's going to try to jump for the first few times. She's very Beagle Bassett right now. Her nose is to the ground. I'm just going to press through anyway and tell her I'm more important than anything else. Come. Come, good girl. Sit. Yes, come sit, good girl. Great, good girl. Good job. She is so smart and I absolutely love her. Like, I am so glad... My four-year-old had a massive meltdown. He's five now, but he just turned five the last week to get her. He, he didn't like throw a tantrum, but he just really wanted her because she looks similar in a way to our beagle that passed away. And I had to say yes. Come, Come good girl. Off. Sit. Sit. Off. Sit. Yes, sit good girl. Good girl. She's kind of clumsy and all over the place, but I think she's only about six months old also. So that plays a factor. She's got puppy brain. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Good girl. up because I don't want her to think just because I moved she gets to break her position because later on in her training we're going to build duration and distance and that's not something you want to have to go back and retrain into them after you you know have bad habits come yes come good girl sit Good girl, good job. 
didn't give a treat. I'm gonna start weaning off the treats. She knows what I expect at this point. I'll give her a treat every other one and then I'll stop with the treats. Come, come good girl, come good girl. Sit, sit, yes, good girl, sit good girl. Sit good girl, sit good girl. Break, good girl. So usually if I had a dog that was jumping, I would have the leash down in front of me or out where I could make the correction but I'm trying to teach her to sit and then she's jumping, right? So when I'm telling her to sit, I have the leash up because I'm leaning her head like this. Come here. Good, come good girl. I'm leaning her head up, sit. And she tries to jump, sit, good girl. So I lean her head back with the leash, just a little tension. And then I give her a, a guidance with my hand on her butt. So it's just kind of like this motion right here. So it's, it's different correction when she's jumping, when she's in a sit. And look, she's holding it. She's not breaking it. She's already getting the break word. If she wasn't going into a sit, I would have the collar down and I or the leash down and I would be correcting her before she has a chance to jump. Break, good girl, good girl. Oh, good girl, okay. Don't fall. Good job. And sometimes you just gotta take a break for love, especially if they're puppies. You are so sweet. You just wanna melt. You're so sweet. Sorry, we're <coughs> we're all fighting colds. Well, Robin's not, but me and the kids. Excuse me. All right, come. Come, good girl, come. Sit. Yes. Break, good girl. Okay, so you saw I was able to correct it there. Um, and she didn't come right away, so I just led her just gently with the leash to me. And I praise her anyway because I'm showing her this is what's expected of you. This is what I want you to do and come to me is within my proximity so I can reach down and, and get her. It's like a safety command. If there's something and I need you to come, I want you to come where I can grab you and it will be safe because I'm prepping her for off-leash training. Yes, I do huskies, beagles, all the things off-leash. I don't care what breed, I can still get them off-leash. All my huskies here, we don't have a back fence line. All my huskies are off-leash trained. So also my, um, my five month old beagle is awfully trained. So yes, you have to keep an eye on them and I don't leave them outside alone, but you can do it. Aggressive dogs at my house, if they're my dog, I've had them for a year or two. Yes, I will let them off leash while I'm supervising them with an e-collar on, not just off leash. Come. She didn't come right away, I pulled her in. Yes, sit. You see I'm fighting the beagle nose. Sit, good girl, sit, good girl, break. And then I'm gonna do the repetition again before her nose hits the, has a chance to hit the ground, hopefully, but beagles are fast. Come, come good girl, sit, sit. Okay, yes, break, good girl. I'm trying to reward her right away, she's got puppy brain. Come, come good girl, sit. Okay, I'm gonna introduce the e-collar now. She knows what come is, she knows what sit is, um, but she's not wanting to sit, she's being stubborn. So now you may see her yelp. I'm not hurting her, I do this on myself at 100. I wouldn't do anything to a dog that I wouldn't do to myself. So this is just very low stand. I'm gonna introduce it with low stand to the point where a human wouldn't even be able to fill it. <coughs> Come, good girl. Come. Good girl, sit. Sit. Yes, sit, good girl. Sit, good girl. Break, good girl. Okay. Come. Come, good girl. Sit. 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 She's like wondering. Yes, good girl. Sit, good girl. And then as soon as she sat, sit. 
Good girl. Break. Good girl. Come. As soon as she sat, um, I release tension on the leash because if she sits and I still have tension on the leash, If she sits and I still have tension on the leash, that's not fair to her because I'm telling her to, to get up, essentially. Because what that looks like is this, and then she sits and I still have her up, she's going to be confused as to what to do. Good girl. When you introduce an e-collar, I'm not going to explain this in every video because it'll get old to y'all and it'll get old to me. But when you introduce an e-collar, they can have freeze, fight, flight, or acceptance of the collar. Most, most people, most dogs flight, I would say, from my experience. But she's gonna be looking at it and that's why it's called an e-collar introduction and that's why it needs to be done by a trainer so you don't traumatize them and they understand what you mean with the collar. Some good girl, sit. Oops. Yes, sit, good girl. It's okay, sit. Yes, good girl. Break. 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 So what I did there was I stemmed her real low for jumping on me with an off command. And so she got a little freaked out. Like, what is this? I promise after the first week, they don't do that anymore. If you're practicing daily, like is recommended. But again, it needs to be done by a trainer. Come. 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 Good girl. Sit. Yes, sit. Good girl. Down. Down, good girl. Down. Can you down? Down. Down, good girl. Down, good girl. Break. Good girl. So, <coughs> I'm not particularly focusing on down right now, but if she's gonna give me a down, I'm gonna reward it and tell her what it is, mark the behavior. It'll take several times of hearing down for her to get it. But since she gave it to me, go ahead and reward it instead of figuring out, how do I teach this dog down? Just reward it when they do it and they'll get it pretty quickly. Like if you're in your house, just reward down good girl whenever you see them do it. Okay, she's pretty far away, you can't see her. Come. trying to avoid the stem um, but I'm not gonna let her lay down in, in a place of comfort we're working right now unfortunately come good girl come good girl sit bit of duration out of that one. She's eating grass right now. <laughs> Promise she's not that hungry. Come. <gasps> Come good girl.
she's being stubborn. As you can tell, it's not hurting her at all. Sit. 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 Very common in beagles. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Not letting her rely on me. She's going to be a confident, independent girl. Sit. 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 I want her to know I'm not doing anything to hurt you. We're just communicating. You don't have to be scared. Sit. Yes. Sit, good girl. Uh -uh, sit. Yes. Sit. And I try to correct that before she goes into a down. The quicker you can correct it, the more she'll understand. The faster she'll understand and the more clear your communication is. Sit, good girl. Sit, good girl. Great. Good girl. And that was a little stressful, so I'm just gonna take time to give her some love. Good girl. Oh, good girl. I know, her likes her belly rub. trying to train but that's what makes them shepherds like you know it's super sweet when you're not training okay she's at a good distance let's do this come no guidance good girl sit yes uh -uh. sit if she goes into a down, I will correct her with the e-collar. Sit, good girl. Sit, good girl. Sit. So I'm just going to move in place. Let her know that she has to hold that position. Right. Good girl. Good girl. That was good. She's already getting tired. Her capacity to work is not high. And she's a puppy. And it's not hot out. Come. Come, good girl. Come, good girl. Sit. Good girl. You're very cute. Very cute. You're a good girl. I'm just going to sit. Take a step away. Sit, good girl. Sit, good girl. She's going to try to follow me any way she can without breaking the command. Break. Good girl. I think with her, I'm going to teach distance on the place cot just because it's going to make her feel a little more secure. And then we'll come back and teach it with sit. Sit with distance isn't a big deal to me because I don't use sit a lot. Okay, I'll edit this out, but I got to get a drink. 